Irashiamase. Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Jeff Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday, and on the menu this Saturday we have X Multiply, the IRAM shooter where you fight inside a human body. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. Released by developer IREM in 1989 to Japanese arcades, X Multiply is a title that would remain as an arcade exclusive for almost a decade. It would receive ports to the Saturn and the PlayStation, and later the PlayStation 2, starting in 1998. Fast forward to today, a good 21 years later, and it's now available as an arcade archive release, courtesy of Hamster. So there's the usual arcade archive trappings there. It's got the high score mode and the caravan mode, as well as all the wonderful options for changing your difficulties and your control uh, setup. Uh, really great stuff. So uh, what kind of gameplay do we have here? Well, let's go ahead and insert some credits into the machine and get things started up. So right off the bat we have this really neat little sequence where our ship is being inserted into the human body that we're fighting in. So the basic story we have here for X Multiply is that there are these alien parasites that are microscopic size that have been going around and killing these humans on this colony in space in the year 2249. So the ship that we're piloting, the X002, one wonders whatever happened to the X001 has been shrunk down to a microscopic size and we're being inserted into a human host to try and defeat the alien menace. So as far as that's concerned, it's got a very like inner space style story. Uh, but one thing that I feel is a little bit off is the art doesn't really match by like, being inside a human unless of course like the aliens have gone and changed the inside of the human phys physiology to this extent already in which case man I kind of feel sorry for the human host but uh, the art is like very Geiger-esque in my mind so it's very much uh, similar to aliens in that style of artwork but the sprite work is beautiful the backgrounds the enemies all of that so let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. So it's very similar to your standard IRAM horizontal scrolling shooters. Uh, specifically, in my mind, I kind of feel that's really similar to R-Type, enough so that I would call this one an R-Type guide, and even though it's not an R-Type title itself, it comes across so much like one. So our base ship itself starts with just a cannon. Then once we go and pick up one of three different colored power-ups, we get those awesome tentacles that uh, fly around our ship. So the tentacles are pretty interesting. Well, so we've made it to our first boss, this gargoyle-like boss here, with really nice legs. Uh, the bosses do go down pretty easy, which is admittedly one thing that I'm grateful for. But going back to the way that we power up, so there are three different colored power-ups, and the first time we pick them up, we'll go and get our tentacles. They'll come out of the ship. From that point on, if we go and pick up another tentacle of the same color, we'll go and get a, a more upgraded version of that weapon. Or if we get a different one, then we'll get like that level of uh, weapon for that particular color. So there are three colors. The red, which is my favorite, gives us the laser. The blue will give us homing which I did have for a small time in the previous stage, and the yellow here gives us Shadow. So Shadow has us firing shots from the end of the tentacles. Unfortunately, the main ship doesn't fire anything. It does right now because we have bombs. So this one can be particularly hard to use, as when you're resting, the tentacles return to a neutral position around the ship, uh, straight up and straight down, and when we move, we move forward, they move back, we move back, they move forward. So it can be a little bit difficult to, to aim. But one thing about the tentacles is they protect us from most damage. They deal heavy damage when they come into contact with enemies, and they will go and clear most shots that the enemies fire at us. There are a few that bosses fire that they will not clear, so you do have to be careful with those. But aside from that, they're actually great for, from a defensive standpoint. So there are also a couple other uh, power-ups that we can get. Uh, just the regular power-ups is the way that the game's manual refers to them as. And those are the speed up, which is the red speed, a red S. Speed down, which is a blue S. Bomb, which uh, basically is dropping missiles from our main ship itself. And... Oops. 
got knocked taken out by the boss there and one-ups which are happen to be very rare so like other r-type and irem titles this one uses a checkpoint system so if you die you're set back to a previous checkpoint and in the case of the second stage here there is no checkpoint so we're set back to the very beginning of the stage it's a short stage admittedly but that's still kind of frustrating as it would be nice to even be able to start it from the midpoint and skip this beginning section here so that's my biggest uh, complaint really with the game is just the way that the checkpoint system works and there's also some weird uh, design choices with uh, making things more difficult by lack of power-ups that come from the checkpoint system that I just kind of scratched my head over. Uh, there are some points that I was even getting frustrated playing in some of the later stages um, just because the game like does not give you the power-ups that you need. It's like really finely crafted but it's crafted in such a way that it's uh, forcing extra difficulty onto the particular player rather than uh, making things easier and more accessible. Which for an arcade title in uh, 89, it definitely goes and makes sense. It's meant to go and eat your coins, not necessarily allow you to be able to quickly get through the game itself. And it feels that way. So, there you have it. X Multiply served up for your enjoyment. Definitely, if you're a fan of other IRM titles, specifically R-Types, this is one that's an easy, easy recommend. But if you're not, I'm not really sure that I can recommend it as, to anybody, as if you're not already a convert to IRM titles, then, well, you're probably not going to go and enjoy it that much. Talking about the minus flavors, there's my issue with the checkpoint system. It just gets really frustrating when you're set back to one point in the stage and every single time that you die. And then there's the difficulty that's uh, forced on you when you're using a downgraded ship, when you do not have the tentacles. Like the inability to defend yourself and the lack of firepower can get really, really problematic. In particular, there's one stage, I believe stage five, where you're going through over half the stage before they give you a tentacle power up having to go and fight through all these enemies that are la layering down tons of shots your way. It just isn't fun, it's just frustrating. I mean, it's satisfying when you finally get to the point where you can master the pattern and make it through, but that's just not fun. <laughs> Though it can be satisfying. Uh, as far as uh, like my plus flavors are concerned, so <laughs> it's not much like being inside a human body, definitely, but the art style and specifically the quality of work you have here in the sprite work is just phenomenal. It's like uh, far more alien and Geiger-esque than anything else, but <laughs> the art is truly something to behold, like these grotesque heads. <laughs> And then there's that classic IREM feel. Like I was saying, if you're a fan of R-Types, then this is one that's an easy recommend, as the whole tentacles are very, very similar to R-Type Force, and even as far as like uh, later R-Types would go and have forces that uh, were similar to the tentacles here. This is a uh, speed downgrade. Uh, the S is actually reversed. I didn't notice that. All right, so this is just a sub-boss here. This, that'll just about wrap it up for this week's episode of Shoot'em Up Saturday. As always, I want to thank you so much for coming out and joining me this week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week.